becoming a partner rather than becoming a decision maker you know how parents constantly tend to compare also to say uh, am i doing enough and and i can say without doubt every one of you in the room is going to raise your hands if i say that how many of us have felt guilty conscious about not being able to do enough and i don't know what that enough is frankly you know yeah i mean there are times when you know i remember that i went to my son's class and um, they had put in the papers all around to just read through um, and they said just go through what your child has written and uh, i was just trying to assimilate what he's written and half the page was blank because he obviously hates to write and so i was i was very happy that half the page is full <laughs> you know because he had moved from a quarter to a half page and i said okay let me just read through this and one of the parents she came complaining saying my son has written dear page hi likha hai isne so i didn't know whether how to react and you know i just quietly kept the paper aside and she said you are a chill parent now honestly i don't know how to take that you know is that a compliment a chill parent or is that to say that you're not doing enough right and that's the pressure that we as parents put on each other you know like and i loved what you said about writing because the first time you know when i was in the queue to a ptm uh, and and i was about to tell the teacher that you know he doesn't write he doesn't like writing uh, some other parent complained about it and and the complaint was not that she doesn't write the complaint was that she writes a lot but it's not cursive and so you know my problems are always very primitive as compared to other parents problems and so i said let me just keep mum and listen and the teacher said exactly what swati said that you know he is not going to write he is going to type so why don't you just leave him alone and and it struck a chord you know that we don't need all this what we really need to do you know as parents is to just be caring and responsive parents and that advice nobody is going to listen to because it's it's something which is you know where you have a very simple solution not a very expensive solution to a problem that seems very complex nobody wants to buy it right because if i say are you a responsive and caring parent you would say what does that mean and what it essentially means is are you having fun with your child on a day to day basis you know like when you just speak to him and you say hi five we did this together you know it's it's he understands this is emotion right positive emotion when you just say when you prioritize together time you say let's do this together and let's try again and again and again when you're not the decision maker in his play process saying ye aise hota hai you know rather than saying aise karke dekhe you know that is where you are basically uh, teaching him to embrace ambiguity that comes with it you are teaching him to embrace a lot of emotions there and you becoming a partner rather than becoming a decision maker and yeah and he doesn't want an instruction manual i think i think she was very right in saying that you know what they what they really mean when they say uh, let's play together is that they're stressed yeah and you've got to just get the stress out of them and the only way they know how to handle the stress is play